All right, I think it's that time. So here we are, here we are. Happy, happy afternoon or evening or morning or whenever you get a chance to watch this. If you are watching this live, please drop the number five live. Drop the number five in the comments for me because I know this is a surprise. I didn't even warn anybody. You might be watching this in the Radiant Rockstars group. You might be watching this in the Team Lusty Lilies group. This is going to be a video that I'm going to share with so many teams. And I want to say thank you. Thank you to my good friend, D Stevens. She invited me to the Radiant Rockstars team meeting tonight. And, and I, I was trying to make it happen, but I have a party guest have changed the time on me. So I have to be there and not at the team meeting. Thank you, Dee, for inviting me to y'all's team meeting. And thank you for understanding that I had to do this video. All right. So once I get this started, I'm not going to take very long. I want this to be powerful. I want this to be fat. And I want you to have some pen and paper ready in case you hear something that might help you book parties. Yes, pure romance parties, which I'm on my way to a pure romance party. So how to book pure romance parties at parties. And I have notes. I have some notes. So I'm going to go through this with y'all. And I want you to take your own, take your own notes because you, like I said, you might hear something, but just to introduce myself real quick. So you don't think I'm just this weirdo that's just up here talking live. Um, I'm talking live on the Radiant Rockstars group, but like I said, I'm going to have this available for replay. So thank you for watching either live or on the replay, but just to introduce myself real quick before I go through my notes. My name is Lawanda Johnson. You can find me all over so by Lawanda Loves. So my first name, Lawanda, and then L-O-V-E-S. You can follow me everywhere and you can definitely, you know, when you follow me, I can follow you. We can, we can build a relationship. And you can mess me on Facebook or on Instagram, and I'll be happy to help you in case after you watch this live pre recorded video. That if you do, if you're watching the replay later, or if you're watching it now and you're in the comments and you're wondering and you got some questions about anything, I go my notes, please don't hesitate to, to message me to, to, to comment on the video. I'll come back and I'll look at the video, but I'm in Chesapeake, Virginia in the United States of America. It is roughly three with tonight's team meeting. I just, I was here to, to share some of the ways that I book parties at parties and I've been doing pure romance parties for 13 years. I started in July of 2009. And while while I was a young kid at the time, I really wanted some kind of part-time income and I needed to be super flexible and I needed to be able to be with my kids and be with my, my family and, and still work this business and still have some kind of job where I was making an income. So I started by doing like one party a month and then I started doing one party a week and, uh, and I still, I still average one to three parties a week. And majority of those are booked at parties. Okay. So, and just a little more information about me. I've got two kids. I've got four dogs. I've been married for 16, 17, 18 years. <laughs> and, and like I said, I've been doing pure romance for 13 years and eight of those 13 years I've been serving on the board of directors with pure romance and working this full time, eight of my 13 years. 
years have been consistently full time. I get up in the morning, I get dressed, I go to work. Now, parties can be booked. And, and, and of course, I can go over more statistics with you. Like I've, my highest year was in 2020 for my sales. I did $103,000 in sales. And I I do. I, I help women get started in this business every single month. So, and if you want to know anything else about me, just let me know. But I didn't even move to the United States of America until I was 16 years old. So that's a big fact that a lot of people don't know about me that I actually grew up overseas. Okay. So enough about me. Let's really jump into this. Now you can practically book parties anywhere. You really could, but the easiest place to book parties is at parties. And if you don't have any and you're sitting here watching this and you're like, Lawanda, I don't have any parties. How am I supposed to book parties if I don't have any? My number one tip for you right here and right now is to go look at your calendar, go pull out your calendar and look at what days you have available. Okay. And one of those days you need to have your own. I'm dead serious. Even if you just had your own party like a week ago or two weeks ago, you need to start planning for your next personal, you're the hostess type of party. Because guess what? I do that every other month, pretty much once a quarter. I have my own pure romance party. And that way I can invite people who tell me no <laughs> to having their own party. I'll ask them, do they want to come to a party? And if they don't have a friend that can have a party and they can't refer me to someone, I seriously say, well, hey, girlfriend, why don't you just come to my next party, which is on blah, blah date. So then you can start putting your guest list together for the party you're having. So while I talk about how to book parties at a party. If you're sitting here thinking to yourself, you don't have one, now you do. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, so I have my notes. I'm gonna use my notes. And then I'm also going to tag a few friends that I know are here, as well as I'd like you to use the comments. Not only do I want you to drop the five if you're live, but I also want you to go ahead and tell me where you are tuning in from. And that way we can see how far this live goes. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and pull up my notes and oh, make sure I'm not talking over myself. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you guys is, is I'm usually when I'm at a party, I've got at least five women at least five women in front of me. So if you're wondering how many women are at my parties, it's not huge, you know, 30 person parties, but I've done those. You really just need to let people know that if they just need a handful, whenever you're talking to somebody about having a party, just let them know you need a handful of people around a dining room table or a handful of people on the couch in her living room. It doesn't have to be huge. When you start with five, it can grow. So I'm at a party. Okay. And like, I'm going to one right now <laughs> and I had one last night. So for example, I had seven women at my party last night, five of the seven women booked a party with me. Now, let me tell you, I did not use just one method to book parties with those five women. I actually use a collection of different methods at my parties and I'm going to share those with you now. Okay. So first of all, um, when it comes down to it, if, if she is shopping, okay, if she's shopping, if she's planning on shopping and she comes into your shopping room, you're going to let her know that her order that she's purchasing and she's placing right there at the party, you're going to let her know that, Hey girl, Hey, let's, let's keep the party going. And if you know, let's go ahead and book a party and have a host, you can be the host, you can get benefits, but guess what? Your order that you place with me, the hundred bucks you just spent, thank you for doing that because it helps, you know, our hostess now. But if you go ahead and book a party with me, I will count your order twice. I will count it here at this party and I will count it at your party as the first order. Mm -hmm. So, of course, that is one of those ways you can let her know. And, and then usually she gets very excited. And she usually says yes, or maybe she'll say no, but at least you're giving her an option. Okay. So she can use her first order. 
Another thing that I do during my parties to book parties is I use a wish list um, instead of catalogs and stuff like that. So I use a wish list and on my wish list, okay, I ask her to circle three of her products that she's been looking at. I usually like to ask to have her circle her three like halfway. If I'm like halfway through the party, then I will stop and I will simply say, hey ladies, hey girl, hey, guess what? We're halfway there. We're almost at toys. Go ahead and do me a solid favor. I want you to look at this wish list and I want you to go ahead and circle three for free. What are three items on this wish list that you would like for free? And I don't say anything else. I literally just say, hey, Hey girl, hey, we're at a point, we're at a part of the party where I need you to look at your wish list. So again, you ask her, you know, she gives you the wish list, and maybe you've already talked about a lot of the creams and things, and you're getting into the, the lingerie and toy talk, right? If you're getting to that point, you're like halfway through your, your wish list. And no, I don't show all of these products. I show maybe two or three items off of each column um, at my parties. So each column, I like to say this is aisle one, this is aisle two, this is aisle three. And usually when I'm halfway through my party, I will tell her, go ahead and circle three for free. What three items on that wish list would you like to get for free? And I tell her there's a lot of different ways you can get it for free. One would be having a party with me and another would be joining our team and becoming a product tester with our team. OK, so circle three for free. Let your hostess know that if she gets at least three parties, at least three of her friends that give you a date at the party right here, right now, then she will get one hundred dollars after those three parties with her friends have already happened. OK, so that's another way to book a party at a party right there. And then the hostess will help you get and find friends. Like even if she doesn't have a friend in that room, she can start texting people. Once she hears one hundred dollars, light bulbs start going off in her head and she wants to cash that in. So tell her, be like, hey, girl, hey, if you don't have if there's somebody missing at this party, you should go ahead and text her right now because she. She probably wants to be here and she could be one of your three parties that happen. And then you get the freebie. So that's a way to book a party at a party too. Mm. Give the, the host, like at the party you're at, a gift right in front of everybody else. That is so good. Right there, right now, probably, I usually do it like that halfway point. I'll just stop. And I'll give a gift to the hostess and I'll get her really excited. Let her know that this is her free gift. And then that gets everybody else excited. And the reason I do a lot of this, you know, process, a lot of this at the halfway point of the party, you know, and give the gift and let her know about finding three friends to get the hundred dollars. You know, I do that at the halfway point. I talk about circling three for free. Um, this, the first order at her party, that's usually something I say in the shopping room. So of course that's another way to get them to book a party if they haven't yet, but I do it halfway through the party because that gives time. That gives time to other people that have not shown up yet. The people that may be coming a little late, then they can still see what we're doing. Right. Okay. Another way to book parties at parties is to talk up the different party themes that you do at your parties, right? So for example, last night, one of the five women that booked a party with me were very excited because I was talking about different themes. I was talking about how I do in the summertime flip flop and jello shop pure romance parties. I do wet and wild, uh, you know, lingerie or bathing suit parties. I do you know, there's the bad moms party. There's, uh, you know, chips, dips and sex tips themed party. So if you toss out like two or three theme ideas, 
while you're already talking about coochie or talking about another product, it gets their wheels turning that, oh my gosh, I need this kind of fun in my life. And I'm already having fun here at her house because the party I was doing last night was all about bright and pink and bridal. It was a bridal pink bright party. And so... And so everybody was coming in pink. They were serving pink drinks and they were eating pink food. And that was just the theme, right? So talking up themes while you're in the middle of a party will help you book new parties at that party. Open, open up all the months. <laughs> we're in May. We're halfway through it. You still have time to book a party at the end of the month. Okay. Maybe the Tuesday right at the end of the month. That can still happen. But you should go ahead and talk about what you have available in June, July, August, September, and October, because that's the next five months. And if she says, oh, I can't have a party anytime soon, you let her know, oh, girlfriend, we can start by just picking the month. And she'll be like, huh? And, she'll be, and you'll, be, you'll be like, I have the whole year. I'm not going anywhere. I'm in business. So would you like, you know, open a month say would you like july june august which month would you like and when you do that it gives her permission to be flexible and to still book a party with you still give you her information and say i'm seriously interested in having a party in august and then you can hit her up when July and June rolls around and you can really start communicating with her about her party that's happening in August. Okay. So open up all your months. Now, once you're at a party and you're in the shopping room and me and myself and I, the way that I talk to people at parties to book a party is I'll have a calendar out. And my calendar right now is for May. Okay. June. I have June. And then I also have July. Okay. And I've crossed off the days I cannot book parties. Okay. And then I've written down the days that are already booked. That way, when I'm at a party, that's how I start booking with her. I'm in the shopping room. She says, yes, I want to help the hostess. Yes, I want these three items for free at my party. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I want a party, right? She's excited. She's like, I want to have the chips, dips, and sex tips thing that you talked about. And I'm like, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. What month? That's where I start. When I start booking a party at a party or if I'm anywhere, if I'm in the middle of Target and she's talking up a storm, I don't care if I'm at a party, if I'm at a restaurant, if I'm at a store, if I'm at a theme park, if I'm at the beach, if I'm at Starbucks and she shows me the slightest interest in having a party. Let's go back to the shopping room. But if, if there's any interest anywhere, I always start with the month. I'm always like, okay, well, great. What, what month would you like to get your friends together? June, July, August, what you thinking? And she'll say it right away. She's like, oh yeah, I'm crazy in June. Let's do July. And I'll be like, okay. So I've got you, I'll, I will text her, you know, go ahead and just put it all in a text or a Facebook message or an Instagram message, but get it to her. Say, okay, we picked the month July. Great. Would you like a weekday or weekend? Because I personally know for a fact that I only book parties Wednesday nights, Friday nights. Those are my weeknights. And then I offer Saturday afternoon and evening. And I offer Sunday afternoon, not evening. <laughs> Why? Because you get, to, you get to choose when you party. You get to choose and make your schedule. So, yes, yeah, start with that. Give her an option. Okay, great. You want July. Wonderful. Or she wants June. Wonderful. Would you like a weekday or a weekend in June? And that's when her wheels start turning. And she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, we got to have a we got to have a weekday because everybody's busy on the weekend. Or she'll start turning and she's like, oh, no, no, we cannot do it on a weekday. It has to be on a weekend. And so then you're helping her narrow it down. OK, so she picks June and then she says weekend. And again, you're putting all this in a message to her. Then you're just going to pick evening or afternoon. So if she says weekend, if you offer an afternoon on a Saturday or Sunday, then offer that. Be like, do you want an evening or an afternoon on a Saturday or a Sunday? 
And then she's going to say, oh, no, no, it has to be in the evening. You know, I got to kick the kids out. They got to go to the movies or whatever. You know, I got to kick my husband out. He's going to go over to the, the local pub, whatever. OK, so that way she starts thinking, OK, this is the month. We're going to pick a Saturday in that month. And it's got to be in the evening on a Saturday in that month. Well, guess what? Now you've narrowed it down for her. She's only got four choices. There's only four Saturdays in that month. OK, and then you're going to tell her, oh, I'm already booked for two of those. So now she's only got two choices. And then she can take those two choices and talk to a few of her friends. And that, my friend, is how you are going to book your party at a party or anywhere, honestly, because when you help her narrow it down, she will be excited that you're helping her narrow it down. And my last, I have like two more and then we're wrapping up this live. Like I was just saying, text her right there. The month, the, the fact that she picked a weekday or weekend. You're not even texting her a date yet, you guys. You guys can you can talk to the host about the date later. Right now, you just need to narrow it down and send her the month, the weekday or weekend choice, the evening or afternoon choice, and then send her the gift. OK, send her the gift in that text. Maybe she you know, maybe you're offering fifty dollars at the party for people who book parties or maybe you're offering those three for free. Text her those three. Just text her the three items that she circled. Um, or if you're running another special, maybe you're giving away free swings as we swing into summer. You know, whatever you're doing, that's that's what she's getting. You want her to know that with all of her party information. So it keeps that information at the front of her, her face, you know, and she sees that and she knows that. Okay. And she has her expectations laid out for her. Oh, and the last tip I have about booking parties at parties, if you don't play a crazy booking game, or if you don't drop, you know, booking hints throughout your party, you can just seriously stop at any point and just ask. Because guess what? 99% of the time, they're not booking a party with you because you didn't ask them. I'm dead serious. You didn't ask. And guess what? Then they're going to go to another party with another consultant. And guess what's going to happen? That other consultant is going to ask her. And then she's going to book a party with her. And then you're going to see that on Facebook. You're going to be like, why is she booking a party with that chick when I just had a party with her? You didn't ask her. That's, that's the biggest difference, y'all. All right. Those are my tips. That's about almost a little under a half an hour. Uh, I wanted to keep it short and sweet so you guys can definitely watch the replay. Again, I wanted to thank D Stevens for inviting me to teach this today. I hope you learned something today, Radiant Rockstars. And Lester Lilies, thank you all. I'm going to head out to my party now. You guys are fantastic. Happy orgasms to all and to all a good night. Do not yuck anybody's yum. And remember to take care of yourself and take care of others and be kind to yourself and be kind to others and to always breathe. Always slow down, stop and breathe. All right, love you guys so much. I'll talk to you soon. Message me if you need me. Love you, Dee. Thank you, Heather. Bye.